so the very first thing what we're gonna do is just duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl j or directly just right click on it and select duplicate layer now we're gonna just crop the image for our instagram ratio so select 8 is to 10 or 4 is to 5 ratio because all right now just place it somewhere over here or you can if you want the landscape type photo you can just click over there and just do it now all we're gonna do is let's just create new layer <coughs> select the paint bucket tool and just press the alt key from the keyboard to select that layer or the area now just paint it with this in the new layer of the background now you can select add a layer mask on it and just erase it by using the brush tool on this layer mask now go to the bottom layer select the levels by pressing ctrl l just make it more darker for it should be you know actually merge with the background so you have to make darker until that all right now just merge both the layers before merging you can let's just do some more adjustment in this so let's just <coughs> go to the adjustment layer, select the hue and saturation because the you know skin tone of the model is actually very much you know yellowish so we're gonna just decrease the yellowish color from the face region so select the red color and just decrease the saturation of that also we're gonna just select the yellowish color from the menu so let's select the yellow and just decrease the opacity or the saturation a little bit to minus 20 would be pretty much perfect i guess or minus 25 it is all totally up to you so you can see the difference here was the before you can just erase it from unwanted area just make sure that you have to only keep this you know color effect on the skin tone the rest of all you can just delete it all right so you can see the difference here is the before and here is after before it was over saturated and highly you know very much now we're gonna just have decreased that kind of now let's just uh, take this series png from here just drag and drop you can just download it from the links in the description now change the blending mode to screen press ctrl d from the keyboard let's select the eraser tool and just delete unwanted you know the particles or the fairy lights which you don't want you can just erase it with the help of eraser tool press ctrl d and just flip it horizontal just place it in the portion where it is you know it should be looking like it is coming from the hand so you have to place that somewhere over here so it should be placed like this Now let's add some more bokeh or the fairy lights in the photo so let's just select this fairy lights and just drag and drop over here change the blending mode to screen press ctrl d from the keyboard and just flip it horizontal just place it somewhere over this fairy lights like this somewhere over here change the blending mode to screen so this will actually make your photos to look more realistic all right so we're gonna just placing it it over here so you can see the difference here is the before and here is after you can just erase it some unwanted bokeh particles where if you don't want with the help of eraser tool so you can see the difference here is the before and here is the after it is really looking very very realistic and amazing guys it is it other unwanted particles or the bokeh lights from the image now let's add some more effect or you know bokeh in the photo so let's select this uh, neon sign just drag and drop over here change the blending mode to screen press ctrl t from the keyboard just flip is horizontal place it somewhere over here 
it should not be you know covering your hand too much just a little bit would be pretty much perfect now this one is looking kind of cool all right now select the crop tool and we're gonna just change the ratio because we want a landscape type of in you know, a photo so we're gonna just change the perspective of the image now this one would be pretty much perfect ratio i guess just place it somewhere over here and just hit ok now this one is looking kind of dope and realistic all right now we're gonna just increase the size of this bokeh fairy lights we're gonna first of all we're gonna just create new layer and we're gonna remove that wide hairs from the image so the very first thing we're gonna do is let's create new layer select the brush tool select the black color and just paint it somewhere over here to make it look more darker so that it should merge with the background or this with the neon disc lights all right so let's just make the you can see the difference here is a before and here is after it is really making a good effect on this photo now go to the file and let's add some bokeh particles to the photo so let's select this bokeh image just drag and drop over here go to the levels by pressing the ctrl l button and just uh, make it to more look more darker change the blending mode to screen and just you can place this bokeh particles or the bokeh image wherever you want just make sure don't add too much of bokeh in the image just a little bit would be pretty much perfect now let's just place it somewhere over here You can erase some unwanted bokeh particles from the image if you don't want by with the help of you know eraser tool. Select the eraser tool and just you know delete that unwanted bokeh particles from the image because too much of bokeh would not look actually good. A little bit would be pretty much perfect. Now select the brush tool and let's add some more dark or the black effect over here. Press Ctrl D and just make it more darker. This will bring the part, I don't know, that black bokeh particle or the black bokeh effect to the, you know, more amazing and looks cool, right? Now change the blending mode of that black vignette to screen or the multiply, sorry. Now just add some more bokeh on the on this top region to make it look more cinematic and kind of realistic. So we're gonna add this bokeh particles over here. Now you can just do the rest of the thing by erasing it with the help of eraser the unwanted particles from the image. Now we're gonna just do the merge all the layers. Select the crop tool and just hit OK. Now we're gonna just go to the filter and just go to the camera filter from there and we're gonna add the effect. This effect is totally up to you guys. If you if you want to add a preset to this photo, you can totally add. But if you wanna do a minor adjustment with the help of uh, you know camera you can do it by yourself by following this simple steps what i am doing in this video you can just decrease or uh, you know increase more blue easy effect just add a teal effect on this photo if you want just a little bit would be pretty much perfect don't add too much of you know teal and orange because that will actually make your photos to look very bad all right now we're gonna just add highlights to kind of you know orange is red effect and just make it saturation a little bit would be pretty much perfect change the hue of this color sorry we're gonna just make the shadows so let's just 
make some shadows or you can just go to the HSL tab and just make the skin so skin tone pretty much perfect you have to keep this in mind that you know whenever you are doing the color grading you have to maintain the you know skin tone of the model in a perfect way otherwise your photo will look very bad all right so you have to just keep in mind that every anyhow you have to maintain the skin tone and just bring back a perfect and a original tone of the skin other else you can just color grade whatever you want if you can do but you have to keep this in mind that skin tone should be remain original let's add some more black effect a little bit would be pretty much perfect Matt, this will actually make your photos to look matte effect matte is look you can add some contrast to the photo to in order to bring it more light just add a little bit of shadows in order to pump out the details now we're gonna just increase a little bit of whiteness to make it look more brighter and just decrease a little bit of blackness add the clarity to when on you know plus 10 would be pretty much perfect don't add too much of clarity let's just maintain fix this skin tone a kind of little bit this red and orange slider is the main you know slider for your skin tone effect so you have to play with this color only just add a little bit of luminescence and a red tone now go to the split toning let's add some shadows that shadows would be of kind of bluish color all right so we're gonna just add the bluish effect a little bit would be pretty much perfect don't add too much of bluish effect otherwise your photo will look not look amazing instead of it will look over edited which we don't want all right so just add a little bit of shadows or the retouching of the color effect don't add too much of color effect you have to you know keep in mind that your photo should look more and more natural as much as you can so finally here we have almost completed our process of you know color grading it so just hit ok and you can increase the vibrance and decrease some saturation so guys you can see the difference here is the before and here is the after this one is really looking very very amazing so guys i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just press the like button and if you still not subscribed then subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets also visit our website that is www.ashwircreations.com from there you can download all the presets in the form of mobile lightroom pc lightroom and also the loots just for free also guys check our second website filterpreset.com also guys don't forget to follow us on instagram so guys thank you for watching